on today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, Creating, Editing, and Using Templates in ProPresenter 6. Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So you might know that the um, that ProPresenter has a very powerful feature called Templates. And it occurred to me as I'm going through all the features of ProPresenter that uh, I haven't I've uh, addressed this kind of in passing, but I haven't really delved deeply into it. So let's head over to my computer and take a look. Templates are one of the best things that ProPresenter has added. They added them in Pro 4, if memory serves, and it really has added to the capabilities that you can have. So how do you create a template? Well, first off, Let's take a look at some templates. Uh, there's several here. Uh, Renewed Vision has created a bunch, um, like the uh, 16 by 9 RV lower thirds. So you can look at that. There's one for the Bible. Um, here, let's actually do that. Yep. So you see, that that's how they did that one. And we can go into here and we can do it floral, oh isn't that pretty, etc. But what if you think, well, that's pretty close, but I actually want to change that. Well, no problem. Again, click on templates like I have been, select the template, and then select the particular instance that you want, and click Edit Template Group. Actually, you don't have to select the one you want, you just edit template group that does it and this brings up all these different uh, choices here so we were working with floral and I gotta tell you the font color and just as I'm looking at it bad choice sorry renewed vision peeps so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change that so instead of having it this um, odd color we're going to uh, change the color ever so slightly from black. Let's change it to like a gray. Let's see how that looks. And we'll do that. Okay, that kind of blends in. So I, I see what they were doing there. Let's try it as white. So do that and... Okay, I'm liking that better. I don't like the outline color here, so I'm going to click this, and let's make that black so that it really pops. So, we do that. That's good, but now what about the drop shadow? That's located over here. So, let's click this, and let's make that like this color, this iron, which is just a kind of gray. So, in my mind, that that's a little bit better. So now we just click on that, and now we can go back to template, RV lower thirds, back to floral, and bam. And once we click on it, it shows up here. Let me make that a little bit bigger. So. Yeah, and you might not like that. Maybe you don't like the background, etc., whatever. Let's say instead of editing one, you want to go from scratch. There's a couple of ways to do it. Uh, first off, we can edit a slide. So let's uh, edit the slide. Right-click, click Edit Slide. And now let's, um, let's see what we can do. Don't like this background? I'm going to make it go away. So see here, image element here, and hmm. 
now that I'm thinking about it, probably a better way to do this is let me copy this. So I select it, Command Copy, add a new instance here. Let's um, see if we can't. Yeah, that's locked. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is change its template to just something basic like the default here. Okay, and now I'm going to paste in my text again just to give me an example. For some reason that seems not to have... Okay. Let's copy it there and paste it in here. Okay. So, let's say I like that, but I want... First off, I want to make this a lower third. And that's pretty good. So that's the way that I want it. Now I can click this X here, bring this up as an example. Of course, I wouldn't be doing this during church. I'd do this uh, through the week or a time when there was no one else around. And now I can right-click and go to Template. And I could change the template, but what I actually want to do is save selected slides as template group. This is the way that I do it most of the time, so let's do basic white lower third is what I'm going to call that. And so now I have this one that's the altered renewed vision one and then I have this one that's my new one that I created myself. But again there's another way that you can do that and that's going into template and going to new template group and let's call this um, fun new templates and notice here that I can add several so you might have noticed that renewed vision in their examples they have several so you might have wondered how you do that if you select a particular slide and use that as your example. You don't do it that way. You do it the way we're doing it right now where you make a new group and you add a new slide for each template and um, make that slide. So let's say that I want to do exactly the same thing, but I want... Uh, Let's just make this simple and make this, um, I'll do three of them, an upper third, one where it's centered in the middle, and a lower third. Now, in order to, let's call this upper third. Middle. And lower third. So, those should be as they are. Now I click the X. And now, let's go to this one, let's go to Fun New Templates, and I have the three. I have the upper third, bam, and I can right-click here and apply the template again. Fun New Templates, middle, bam, and... Right click this one and go to template, fun new templates, lower third. So that's how you make those.
the next thing that might be just popping into your head is, well, how do I differentiate different types of text? Again, let's go into... Um, And let's, uh, so I'm right-clicking, select template. Uh, let's go back to fun new templates and edit template group again. And so for slide label, I've got that. But I also have, find this, this. So when I click on the text element and not inside, but the box itself, I have some choices over here. In uh, Pro 6, in this current version that I'm on, I have Bible text and Bible reference, Bible text being the text of the Bible, Bible reference, chapter and verse, etc. So I can choose between those two. The one thing that you need to remember, and I go over this in the Bible template one, but just to refresh your memory, you need to apply that before you add the scripture wherever it's going to be. If it's live, of course you're going to apply that before you do it live, but if you do it like into a song or into sermon notes or into its own element, then you'll have to apply it there. Um, but that's just the basics of how you work with templates in ProPresenter 6. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that now you see um, some of the possibilities of using templates in ProPresenter 6 and how you can, quite frankly, do the exact same thing that Renewed Vision did in having multiple different versions of a template for whatever you need it to be. Could be series-specific, could be uh, age group ministry-specific, what have you, but you can go ahead and do it that way. If you like this content, you'd probably like my email newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com and sign up. I've launched a couple of courses recently that I think would be helpful to you. There's, of course, the free version, the uh, ProPresenter 5 or ProPresenter 6 for Beginners course, or I have the ProPresenter Operators course or the ProPresenter Creation course. And there are more courses uh, coming down the way, including one on uh, installing different hardware, installing ProPresenter, etc., and one on tips and tricks. Some of the stuff you just won't find in any manual with ProPresenter. So head over there, sign up, and take a look. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.